Hey guys, what's up? Good morning, or whenever you're watching this vlog. Today starts a new day, a new vlog. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby. If you are not subscribed and you just found my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell to notify you every time I upload a video. And also don't forget to smash the like button. So, this is gonna be an interesting vlog. To start off what I'm about to talk about, what I just put in my mouth is not coffee like you might think. Um, I'm actually drinking honey vanilla chamomile tea currently. So yesterday I was watching some YouTube. I watched uh, Kylie Ross's like one of her most recent vlogs. She was talking about how she was kind of altering her diet because she got this intolerance test done. She was talking about how she um, she cut out coffee or she was gonna cut out coffee for like a month or so because apparently coffee inflames your stomach. Like it causes inflammation and it causes like bloating. And I literally had no idea, but apparently like the acidity in the coffee causes inflammation and problems in your gut and your stomach. So. I literally had no idea. And I don't think you guys know this, probably not. I mean, I don't really share like my health problems with you guys, but um, I have gut issues. I have always had like really bad, like gas and bloating problems. Um, <laughs> we getting real right now. But no, like I'm serious. I almost always feel like bloated of some sort except for like when I first wake up and I've eaten nothing <laughs> um but other than that I just always like have some degree of like stomach pain or like bloating or inflammation or gas um in my gut and I have always just kind of been like oh well that's the way I was made like I'm just gonna have to live with it whatever and I've gotten used to it and whenever she said that yesterday on her vlog um, and she said that coffee causes inflammation. Well, it kind of made me realize, well, I'm a coffee addict. Like I literally consider myself probably an addict of coffee. Bro, I drink coffee all the time, every day, at least once a day. Maybe that is my problem. Like maybe coffee is what is causing my bloating problems. I decided, um, that for the next couple of weeks, at least, I'm going to try my best to cut out coffee. Um, I've done this one other time before. If you guys uh, are not new to my channel and you've been here for a while, um, or maybe you just stumbled across this video, I did do trying to go a week without coffee um, like a few years ago. But obviously my motivations weren't the same. I wasn't doing it for health reasons. I was doing it for entertainment for you guys. Um, and I'm sure I was probably dramatizing it because of the entertainment aspect. Um, but I do remember it was really hard um, going a week without coffee. You guys, this is not a challenge. Um, it's just I'm really going to try hard to go like two weeks without coffee and if I want a cup of coffee like maybe once a week then I'll let myself have it but my whole goal in this is to try to find out if coffee is causing my inflammation and my gas problems so um that is what I'm gonna do uh so like I said I'm drinking tea this morning um, Kylie was drinking, and I'm not trying to like copy Kylie. I know some of you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, she's just copying another YouTuber, wow. No, I have gut issues, just like she said she did. Um, so she was drinking matcha tea, and she said that it's like a really good kind of like substitute for coffee. Um, and it's like good for your gut. So I might try to try matcha um 
I might try to get some like matcha powder or something at the store um, and start making matcha lattes or something. I will keep you updated and tell you guys. Um, obviously, I don't know if coffee is the culprit. Like I was reading up on a bunch of different foods that make you bloated and almost every single one of them like I eat on a regular basis. And so, ooh, um, I don't know. I'm just gonna try to cut out coffee to start out with and see how that goes. This is gonna be interesting, but um, like I said, I'll take you along with me. Um, I'll give you updates and tell you how everything is going. So yeah, okay. <laughs> hey y'all, this is really awkward because I'm literally at on cue and people are staring at me. I wanted a snack slash dinner. I know this is not dinner. Don't roast me. Um, this guy's staring at me. Anyway, so I wanted to try like a protein bar because I've tried a lot and um, I've never tried this brand before. It's RX Bar and yeah, I wanted to try it. So basically it is all natural ingredients. It has uh, 12 grams of protein in it, I think. So it has three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, and two dates, and it says no BS. And this is the blueberry one, and so it has blueberries in it. So it's 210 calories, which isn't bad for a protein bar. So it has 24 carbs in it, zero added sugars, and 12 grams of protein. Obviously, I don't really care about, I don't care about the calories, and I don't really care that much about the carbs. Um, but it has 12 grams of protein, which isn't bad. And I'm just really glad that it's all natural and no added sugars. So I'm gonna try this out real quick. We still got, still got liquors. I'm kind of scared because like bars like this are usually kind of gross tasting because they're so natural. There was a chocolate one and then like a peanut butter one too. But I decided to get the blueberry one. So here we go. Oh gosh people just pulled up next to me. This is what it looks like. Bro. That's like good. That's like, that's smack. This is good. The texture is very chewy, but like, that is delicious. Okay, I gotta stop because more people are staring at me. Peace out. Try out these bars. Yeah. Please ignore the hair. I need to wash my hair desperately, but I wanted to go do this before I took a shower. So I just threw it up in a really ugly bun and I apologize. So number one, I am just gonna kind of update you on this whole no coffee thing. So I know that you guys are probably like, Gabby, this is ridiculous. You've only gone one day without coffee. It's not that big of a deal. Well, like I told you guys, I, I'm truly addicted to it. So um, even one day without it, it causes um, problems. So I started getting a headache. And honestly, headaches aren't new to me. I get headaches very uh, frequently. Um, it's just, I've always had headaches and migraines and that's that, but um, I do, I can like associate headaches with like lack of coffee. So, um, I started getting a headache last night around like eight or nine. Um, and it lasted all through the night and it wasn't too bad. Um, and I woke up with a headache. I have one right now. It's not, again, like I said, it's not like unbearable or anything. It's at least to me, cause I'm so used to headaches. Um, but yeah, so I have a headache right now. So that's kind of the only downside of trying to go without coffee is my headaches. Anyway, so I am about to go, I'm gonna change the angle cause I feel this is weird. Okay. I am about to go to Starbucks. I'm gonna get a matcha green tea latte and we will see how that tastes. Um, they also do have chai lattes, which I might end up trying. I, I think I've had an iced chai latte before, but I don't know. Anyway, but I want to try the matcha one today and see how that is. I'm actually kind of nervous. I don't know. But I'll bring you guys along with me and I'll try it on camera. 
Um, so yeah, that is that. Okay, you guys, so I was gonna vlog me getting it, but I actually went inside to get it because um, the line was super long, but honestly, I got stuck behind this lady who was ordering like 15 gift cards, so it probably would have been faster to go through the drive-thru, but anyway. Um, okay, so I have my drink here. By the way, this drink was like, 5.45. That is an insane amount of money because I never paid that for my iced coffees, but oh well. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna treat it. I actually really like it. Maybe that's just cause like I like tea, but yeah, that's actually really good. I'm kind of surprised. By the way, I got it with almond milk and two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. I will just have to buy matcha powder and make it at home by myself. We can do that. But anyway, I just wanted to try it and it's actually pretty good. So yay, thumbs up for matcha. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I just went to Stella Nova. I got a chai latte, an iced chai latte to try. I don't think I'm gonna be like getting this because, or at least that often, because I had no idea that like coffee places, when they make their chai lattes, they have like just like a syrup, like a pump of like chai and it's already like sweetened. And I had no idea, so. And I usually don't get like sweetened drinks, you know what I mean? Um, so anyway, but we're gonna try it. It's probably gonna be like super sweet, but. Mm. Bro, that's so good. I know it's probably like really unhealthy for me, but. It tastes like fall. I want fall to be here like so bad. There's a hair, oh well. Mm. Okay, that's really freaking good. And then I also got oatmeal at Stella Nova. I've always wanted to like try their oatmeal, but. So I got my oatmeal with honey and almonds. We shall see. Also though, I like my oatmeal like super thin. I just spat. And this is like not very thin, you know what I mean? But it ain't bad. I mean, it's oatmeal. All right, that's it. <laughs> I am gonna give you a little mini haul of what I just got at Walmart. Just got off work and I decided to go to Walmart to, the only thing that I went there for was matcha powder um, because I wanna start making my own matcha lattes at my house so it doesn't cost six dollars but of course knowing me i ended up getting more than what i came in for so i ended up getting acai powder too so i can make acai bowls which honestly i've like had that in the back of my mind of like buying at some point and i just got my paycheck yesterday and i know i'm gonna blow it all <sighs> anyway but you know what i decided to get it and then you guys i honestly I'm feeling good today. So there was like this little like booth thing that these guys set up outside of Walmart. Basically, they were selling a bunch of like Christian merchandise. And I don't know if they were from a church or if it was just like, I don't know who they were necessarily affiliated with, but um, they were helping drug rehab and recovery. Um, and that was kind of like their charity. And so I decided to buy this really, really pretty cross necklace. I think it's literally gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that. My money obviously went to that um, charity and donated to them. And honestly, they just seemed like really, really sweet Christian guys. And um, I just really, honestly, like I felt convicted to buy something because, you know, a lot of times, like there are 99% of people who will just walk right by and basically ignore them when they say, hey, you wanna help out? And honestly, 
when I saw them, I don't know, just something like they grabbed my attention, you know, whenever the guy said, Hey, you want to help out? Uh, and I immediately, you know, I saw the Christian stuff and I was like, huh? So I decided to take a couple minutes out of my day and listen to what they had to say and, um, put some money towards it. So yeah. Also, I'm just now realizing that literally almost every single like bit of footage is from my car. I'm just now noticing that it's a theme, but yes also update on the no coffee i'm feeling pretty good i actually haven't got a headache since that first night um and yeah i'm feeling pretty good so yay i forgot to show you guys but that is the acai bowl mix and <laughs> that is the matcha i just wanted to come on here and in the vlog for you uh because i want to get this vlog up so drinking a chai latte and i just got done with my chloe ting workout i started the 2022 week shred today and we shall see how that goes um yeah i've never done a chloe ting challenge before so Thought I'd do it. Just wanted to end the vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications to get a notification every time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to watch last week's vlog. I will have a link in the description. And yeah, I'm moving the camera a lot. Sorry. Okay, peace out. I love you guys.